I just ordered the largest burger in Kenya. It's over $40 and they even brought a second table for it. That's my extra table? Yeah, this is it. Oh my goodness. That is ridiculous. What is going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. Today we have Stitch, even though he's not coming with us for date night today, no. but he just wanted to say hi. So tonight we are actually trying a restaurant that we should have went a long time ago. It's called Harvest. And if you look on TripAdvisor, it's actually a five out of five. I don't is even it know. Really? Yeah, I don't even know how that's possible with almost 400 reviews, meaning that everyone gave them a five. I don't know. I'm a little confused. Is it worth it? <laughs> we'll see. What do you think, Stitch? No thoughts? Perfect. He's like, no, I'm good. So time to put you inside and go to harvest. <laughs> Welcome to the one and only Village Market, my favorite mall. Trace is like pushing me because there's a car behind, behind us. us. Tracy Suddle's advent calendars on Instagram is a few days ago and she had to buy one even because though the price is outrageous. They didn't have them last year or I didn't go check that store. Oh, it's too late. Nobody likes Christmas more than Tracy. It is true. So Harvest is actually known for being a very good restaurant for vegetarians vegan they have a bunch of like gluten-free options and things like that so it's an overall very healthy restaurant and it's something that you can also see in the decor a lot of wood it's very nice very classy I personally really like it but tonight I did not pick the healthiest option that's for sure so we asked our waitress what was the most popular option on the entire menu and she said it was the the grilled salmon steak so Tracy loves salmon she's gonna go for that we also ordered an appetizer but on the menu, there is a giant burger. It is 3,500 cash, and that's what I ordered. And guys, when I ordered it, she seemed a little shocked because I said that it was just for me. I'll get, um, so I'll get the giant burger. You do the giant burger? Yeah, I'll do it. And she also told me that she might have to bring an extra table. So I'm a little scared. So to start, they brought us some bread. Um, I'm gonna be in charge of taste testing the bread because David does not need any extra bread. Good. While we're waiting for our food, let's go check the bathrooms. This is it. Very nice. Very clean. That is for sure a 10 out of 10. Something else that I like about this restaurant is the open kitchen. I love open kitchen. I love to, to be able to see, you know, like how they make the food, but also like it shows you how clean it is and how well maintained it is as well. In the evening at supper time, I say it's evening, but it's only six o'clock. Um, there's actually someone who's like live playing the piano. Personally, I love piano and it just adds an extra element to the ambiance and it's really nice. To start, we got the slow roasted brisket balance and they look They are indeed super good. There's actually three of them. Trey's gonna eat two and me one because I have a big, uh, big uh, food challenge coming. So I just went on their uh, Instagram and I looked at a picture of the burger. Now I'm really, really scared. That's my extra table? Yeah, this is an extra table. Oh my goodness. <laughs> is it this bad? <laughs> <laughs> Trace's salmon is fantastic. Oh, that pesto sauce? Ooh, that's good. I cannot believe how well these two things go together. It's so good. Mm. This is yeah, ridiculous. I love it. <laughs> love it. Okay, this burger comes with like a small salad, put that on the side, a crazy amount of fries with a delicious sauce, like it's really, really good. <laughs> Tracy ate quite a bit already. But that burger, it says it's for two people. It is for four because each quarter is a full-size burger. So there's like, there's over a half a pound of meat. There's some vegetables and everything, pickles. Apparently there's ribs, there's a chipotle sauce, there's cheese, it is loaded. So I'm gonna try to eat it. This is crazy. Look at this. Look at how beautiful it is. It looks like a giant Big Mac from McDonald's. 
it. That's what it looks like. Yeah, it really does. Okay, let's try. It tastes like a Big Mac. Oh my God. This is so good. It is the biggest burger in Kenya and might be the best burger in Kenya as well. Ooh. Okay. Hey, JC, you have to try this. It's my turn to try this massive gigantic yeah. burger. <laughs> Go. Big bite. It's like a Big Mac. It's very good. It needs pickles. There is some. You just didn't get a bite oh. of pickles. Okay. So <laughs> good, yes. That was so good, but after half. I have to give up, like it's it's too much food. I'm gonna bring it home maybe and eat it for the rest of the week. Barely touched the fries, didn't even touch the salad, like it's a crazy amount of food. Bring all your friends and order one. Okay, okay, I should at least taste the salad. It's a good salad. So we are leaving with a ton of food. I am stuffed, we both took takeaway on both of our things, which never happens. Um, and it's funny because the burger, had to come in a fresh pastry cake box because it's so big. <laughs> now that we're way too full, it's time to go home and get in the food coma. And we are back home after a huge meal. Oh my goodness. Stitches like, come here buddy. So basically, very, very good restaurant. I would highly recommend it. It's inside the village market, easy to access, lots of parking. Uh, we paid 82,000 Kenyan shilling for it, but just keep in mind that my burger alone was 3,500 Kenyan shilling. Stop, stop. Um, but overall, the food was really good. Stitch, please. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you almost got him licking the camera. It's very hard to vlog with a dog. Yeah, and mine was like mine was probably the second most expensive besides steaks yeah, or something. Twenty four hundred. Yeah, for my salmon, but I have to say that was the best salmon I've had in Kenya yet. Yeah, it was delicious. It was phenomenal. And my burger was giant, but it was delicious. It was, like, very it was good. legit. Very, and those very fries. Good. Can we like special yeah. mention those fries? Had some spicy chili mayo or something oh on them. Goodness. They were delicious. They were very good. <laughs> Did you, why don't you just like put your yeah? You're not face helping. In the you're camera. Not helping. This is what we're dealing with. Where are you? Done? So as you noticed, we were super full. We didn't end up getting dessert. We did have the one appetizer. We didn't get any drinks. Hey, the bail buns are delicious. Get the bail buns. So like we said earlier, TripAdvisor five out of five. I mean, we didn't try everything on the menu. I still have a hard time giving it five out of five because we haven't tried everything but for from, dessert. But from what we have, our experience, it, it's five a out five, out five out of five. But I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. <laughs> so don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and see you guys in the next one. <laughs>